do you want more sounds but don't necessarily have the cash for more plugins or synthesizers do you want to make sounds like mike dean and have those soaring leads that come from a mini moog but don't have access to a mini moog well i am here to show you how you can create those sounds for absolutely free welcome everybody my name is tim keys and i am here with a tutorial on how to make your own sounds and today we are going to make our own lead sound using vital synth if you don't know about vital synth vital synth is a free vst that's been out for almost a year and you can get it for absolutely free just you know give your email information and sign up and you can get access to the synth for free it is very powerful they have paid versions including a 20 dollar version an 80 dollar version as well as a subscription but honestly the free version can do a lot for you on the other hand for 80 bucks you can get pretty much everything and it would be well worth the money spent that being said i'm going to show you how you can get a moog style lead if you will using a digital synthesizer like vital so after you've downloaded vital you will have a basic screen like this with initial preset what you want to do is for your standard preset you want to go into basic shapes and we're going to turn this using this marker right here the frame marker we are going to select the sawtooth wave and what i am going to do is i am going to adjust my tuning and i am going to adjust my unison and i'm going to drop the amount of detunage down to about a three because you don't need much so nothing yet and that's okay we're going to go to oscillator two and we're going to leave it as is at the initial another saw <clears throat> and Again, I am going to set my amount of voices to around roughly four. I am going to, again, drop my detunage. I don't want that much. What I'm also going to do is change my tune here and fine tune it just a smidge. Now what I'm going to do here is activate the third oscillator. I'm going to click on the initial setting and I am going to select pulse width. I'm going to exit out. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to drop my level down. I am going to, again, do about two voices and I'm going to drop my percentage down and you don't want much for percentages on the unison and actually just by adjusting the tunage on each of these oscillators you're going to get some of that effect anyway I want to keep it at about five Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this section right here where I have my voices and I'm going to drop my voices all the way down to one. Uh-oh. 
that's not supposed to do that. Let's go here and see what's going on. There we go. We're going to stop that because that's not supposed to happen. Of course, right? It's always got to be something. Oh, well. So I got my voice down at one. I am going to select Legato. What Legato will do is give you an easy transition between notes so that you don't get a clear start and stop in between notes when playing. So, so without Legato, you, you would hear each transient every time you hit another key on your keyboard. Legato will smooth that out. I'm also going to select Legato, excuse me, Always Glide and Octave Scale. And I'm going to drive my glide up. All right, so there's that. Now, what you want to do is under each section in your oscillator, you have the options for the filters you can go to. I got filter one, filter two, and effects. I'm going to set each oscillator to go into filter one. So again, I'm going to set each oscillator, filter one. I'm going to cut on my filter. Now, if you notice, when you select your filter, they have different versions, analog, dirty, digital, diode, format, all that good jazz. I am going to select a ladder filter. And I want to set my filter. I think I'm going to leave it at 12 decibels. And now what I am going to do is I want to make sure I'm going to set my resonance a little higher, roughly around this mark, 73%. I'm going to move this part of my filter to bend somewhere at 0.68. That's good enough. And then this part of my filter, I'm going to make sure I cut it off at around the eight or nine semitones mark. I'm gonna drive. All right, so I got that. Now I'm going to turn my sawtooth wave up. So that's pretty close. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my attack down all the way. I'm going to open up my release just to give it a longer tail.
So that's pretty much it. I'm going to drive the volume up. Now, everything else at this point, once you get the sound you're looking for, is pretty much up to taste after that. This is a close approximation of what I'm looking for. Might have to play with the levels. After that, I'm going to go into my effects. I'm going to hit the chorus. I'm going to go also, I'm going to hit the delay. And I am going to drop that down to about 1 4. Might throw in the reverb just for kicks. So that's the basic. Might throw in a distortion and see what happens. I can hear the noise. I can hear the ring. I don't like that. It hurts my ears. So I'm going to take that out. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That is the basis of you know, sound design. It's about experimentation and making various adjustments. And then everything is according to taste. And, you know, the good thing about sound design is once you get used to, you know, your synthesizer, whatever you're using, you can, you know, you can pretty much make whatever sound you want once you get the hang of, you know, trying it out. And if you don't like it, you can always hit that initialize button and start all over. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to... I'm going to actually save this, save presets, and use this as a reference point to turn it into something else. Um, I'm going to show you, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm going to show you final product. I did it a couple of days ago, so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's get out of the preset right. Yeah, so everything is all in the levels and in the filter. So yeah, again, pretty close. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Please share it if uh, you found it helpful. Hit the like button. Unless you didn't like it. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down button. At either rate, have a good one. I'm Tim Keys, and I'm out. Peace.